this is Peter Moriarty and today I'd like to answer the question, how can Google Sites help me systemize my business? Google Sites is an online collaboration platform. It comes free if you've got a Gmail account and you can go to sites.google.com to access it. If you have a Google Apps account, it's also included as part of Google Apps. Now Google Sites is an online platform that you can build a wiki for your internal business. What this means is, if you've ever used Wikipedia, which is an online uh, user-generated collaboration platform that's public, or if you've ever used a website uh, content manager like, say, WordPress, which allows you to add and edit your own pages to your website, Google Sites sits a little bit in between. What Google Sites allows you to do is create a private website just for your team in your organization. Google Sites will then allow you to upload content pages, calendars, lists, data, information, you can upload files, and this is a place where all of your staff can connect to, search, and find information that they need. This is a great place for recording systems and processes for your business. Most companies, when they start to systemize, will start writing down lists of how you get things done in the business. You'll have checklists, you'll have instructions, and typically these are stored in a Microsoft Word document and they're hidden somewhere, somewhere far away in the company drive stored in a set of folders. Unfortunately, this makes it difficult for your staff to find and use these and they very quickly go out of date. Using Google Sites, which is browsable and searchable, allows you to add these systems and processes to a private website just for your company, which allows you to much more easily find the information that you need and much more easily have your team members and your staff find that information as well. Google Sites will let you not only search, but also add data from other applications. So if you're using a spreadsheet using Google Spreadsheets or a document using Google Docs, you can embed them into your Google site as well. Google Site is a great platform to foster innovation and contribution from your team. It allows you to lock down certain areas of Google Sites so only some team members can edit them. So if you have a certain group of people within your business who are responsible for writing systems and processes, you can give them editing rights to the whole site to update processes, update systems. You can give a certain subset of your staff only read-only access, which means that they can just read the systems and processes, but they can't edit any of them. If you start building up all of this intellectual property in your Google site, which is browsable and, and all that information is easily findable by your team, you'll find that your team will start going to the site to find the information and the systems and processes that they need, instead of coming to you and asking you all the questions. What it also means is that you're building up value in your intellectual property by storing it all in one place. Once you have all of your systems, processes, and IP in one place, if you ever decide to scale or sell your business or move out of the business or maybe even put on a general manager to take over some of your responsibilities so you can step away and have less input in the business, you have everything easily documented so someone else can walk in and take control of things. This makes your business look much more appealing to investors and also helps you to scale and deliver a more consistent service to your clients. Google Sites is a great tool you can get started today for free. If you'd like to see a template of how you can get more out of Google Sites and get set up instead of starting from scratch, you can check out www.systemizenow.com.